Hey guys, I'm reporting to you from our sad, too tight hammock with my pitiful makeshift towel pillow, because I don't have the emotional strength to sit upright to tell you what just happened. So today was a testament to the highs and lows, the roller coaster that is field research. When you do science for a living and you work in nature and you try to understand nature and you do studies in nature, nature can sometimes take over in unexpected ways and destroy your efforts. And this is not my first time for this to happen, but this was a uh, painful reminder of how uncertain research can be sometimes. So we deployed these gazebos recently, uh, four days ago, and uh, things looked great. We actually visited them. I started to set them up to basically calibrate them and get them conditioned. So I knew exactly where I wanted to hoist the video cameras so we could watch all of the reef fish foraging behavior that we're here to study in Thailand. Uh, so things looked great. It was a little bit rickety, but not, not any more rickety than what I had dealt with in French Polynesia with my PVC version of this same kind of uh, video camera frame. But lo and behold, there were some serious storms that passed through. And when Heather and I went out to deploy some cameras for real at the fear frame, we discovered that it didn't make it. Just like any part of life, you can't get too upset about the things that you can't control. In this case, no one had ever tried anything like this before in this system. It was a bit of a gamble. Certainly, we invested a lot of time and energy into making this happen, and that time and energy is... I guess you could say it's lost, but a lesson has been learned. We can't put these frames in that shallow of an area, and the system is just too high energy of a system. So uh, this is also a testament to how important it can be as a field researcher to hedge your bets, have alternative approaches that you can rely on in case your uh, one of your primary approaches falls through. And uh, I think we have that in the bag with our mobile fear frame. So uh, I will think positive thoughts, but... It's not all fun run-ins with lizards and uh, successful research when you're in the field. There are the lows. So you just got to get through them and uh, stay positive and work hard. So that's what we'll be doing.